Ashburn Bakerville. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am so proud to represent the good people of Fort Saskatchewan in this legislature. Forty years, residents and industry have been frustrated by the lack of investment in critical infrastructure by previous governments, and the ongoing issues with Highway 15 and the traffic congestion have only gotten worse, with a booming population and steady growth in our oil and gas industry. What is the Minister of Transportation going to do to finally fix decades of neglect? Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I want to start by thanking that honourable member for her advocacy on this and many other issues that affect her constituency. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, the problems that in Fort Saskatchewan with relative to con congestion, I'll just proceed, honourable minister. Thank you. If, if the honourable member is finished, Mr. Speaker, I'll resume. Well. I'll I want you to continue. Thank you. Please keep going. I, I, uh, I, I think it's critical uh, that um, we recognize that there are many problems around this province uh, that have been neglected by the previous government. This is one of them. Thank you, Honourable Minister. First, Two thirds, man. Mr. Speaker, I think it's unfortunate that members in this assembly on the other side are making fun of the fact that people have died on that bridge and on those roads over the last number of years, and no one did anything about it. Given that the two-lane bridge creates a bottleneck and the major safety concerns that are not only frustration, accidents, and loss of lives, what is this minister going to do to address these grave concerns? On the bottom noted. Honourable member. Honourable Minister. Sad, Mr. Speaker, that after decades of neglect, the, the uh, progressive Conservatives are still yapping about this. Mr. Speaker, there are, there are real serious problems uh, in Fort Saskatchewan with congestion uh, and within the surrounding area. It's very unfortunate the previous government didn't deal with it. Uh, I can't really uh, go any further than that at this time, Mr. Speaker, other than to say there are many competing uh, priorities in this province uh, because the neglect of the previous government was so, so, so bad uh, over so many years. But this government cares about Alberta families. We want to make life better for Alberta families. Thank you, Honourable Minister. The second supplemental. Given how important this trade corridor is to the economic development of Alberta's industrial heartland and the benefits that it brings to all of Alberta, and given that this is the best time to move forward with investment in infrastructure, when can we expect improvement on this issue? Honourable Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. This government is committed to making life better for Albertans, and that includes making sure that we improve the infrastructure and the transportation network of this province. Mr. Speaker, we're committed to do that. I can't give the honourable member uh, uh, any kind of uh, specific answer at this time, but I want to tell her that this government cares about the people of Fort Saskatchewan and appreciates her strong advocacy. That's it.